Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Spigot plugin showcase. Today, today we'll be showing you an amazing plugin called PC Bank. It's a plugin which you can use to deposit and withdraw money, and you even can get bank interest while you store your money in the bank, which is really great. And there are a lot of more features which you might be interested in. So keep on watching. All right, so this plugin supports versions from 1.13 to 1.17. It does work on 1.18, but I think the author doesn't support it. And here's the main preview of the plugin, as you can see. And here's some requirements you need to add, which is Vault and Economy plugin. And you also need to have Protocol Lib. And here's some permissions you might want to give your players. Currently, only need Open, Deposit, Withdraw, and Balance. And here are the commands you might want to see. So you can even see the commands in game. So like if you just type bank help you'll see the four commands which are needed which is bank open deposit withdraw and balance the other stuff are not needed for players so yeah now i'm going to show you the preview let's go in game all right so i'm in game here and i'm going to show you how the plugin works so all you got to do is just type bank help and you'll see a list of commands which I talked about, which is bank help, open, balance, deposit, and withdraw. So if you want to open the bank GUI, all you got to do is just type bank open, which opens GUI. And now I'm going to explain how this GUI works. So this is the item you got to click to close the menu. Here is the item you click to upgrade your bank. So if I wanted to upgrade my bank, I need to click this. And now it's going to show me my current upgraded tire. So this is my current upgraded tire. It's gonna it's gonna actually show me like it's gonna show me one or two because I've already upgraded. So for you, this is gonna be shown as tire one, like because you're a new player. So as you can see, it's very detailed. The first one can only hold five million and hundred k XP, which is actually a lot. And if you wanna upgrade, you need to pay five million to upgrade to the first tire, which I currently own. So this is how it's gonna look if you're trying to upgrade like it's gonna be here But for me it's here because I already upgraded here So you're gonna see the shell curve shell and this redstone torch And all you gotta do is just click this if you wanna upgrade it And you're gonna see a menu here it's gonna say current upgrade So it already shows my past uh, upgrade which I did like the latest recent one And here it's gonna show me my balance so I currently have a lot of money And here it's gonna show me what upgrade I'm going to buy so i can either cancel it or accept it which i'm going to accept and now i've upgraded it as you can see it says tire tree tire tree as the next upgrade so yeah it's pretty much that near the bank upgrades you can actually even like go to next page because there are a lot of these actually and now i'm going to show you how to deposit money and to also withdraw so now i'm going to show you how to withdraw and deposit money so here it's going to show you the balance in your bank so i already deposited 5000 which i'm going to withdraw all right so these are the four menus which you're going to see i currently have a lot of money in my economy balance so i'm going to deposit some so the first ones are actually withdraw and the second ones are deposit so i'm going to show you deposit first so here's like a certain amount of deposit and here's the one which deposits all your money so if i did this it's going to deposit all my money which is a lot as you can see and now I'm going to withdraw all the money back because I have to show you this one. So now if you want to deposit only a certain amount of money, which is like $500 or something, you got to click this and you're going to get this sign where you type 500 and you click done. And now it has deposited $500 to your bank account. And same with withdraw. What you got to do is just click this and you get a sign and I only wanted to withdraw $250. We should click done and it has withdrawn the money. So now you can see the other stuff here, which is like here is going to show your current upgrade, which is tire 2. For you, it's going to maybe just show you tire 0 or something like that. And here's the best part. Most of you know what interest is if you own a bank account. It's pretty much similar to that. Currently, I have $250 in bank account. So it's going to give me $25 every 60 minutes, which is really great. You can edit more stuff in configuration, which will be shown later. And here's the experience part. So as you can see, I already have 3000 experience in the bank, which I'm going to withdraw. So now you can see that I have 44 levels of XP, which I'm going to deposit. So if I want to deposit like only 100 XP or something like that, if I just have 100, it's going to take away some experience here. 
and you can even deposit all your XP at once. And yeah, it's pretty much similar to the money system which you saw. So yeah, it's pretty much that is the GUI side. Now I'm going to show you the commands. So here are the commands as I've shown before. So if you want to see your balance, just type bank balance and you can see your balance. And if you want to deposit without going into the bank GUI, you can just use this command. It's going to ask you if you want to deposit XP or money. I'm just going to say money because I have a lot of money which I want to deposit. And I'm just going to type 5000. And now as you can see the money has been deposited. Same with XP if you want to do it. And you can even withdraw the money if you want. So I'm just going to type bank withdraw money 500. So it has withdrawn the money. Now I'm going to show you the configuration part. Alright so I'm here at the configuration part. And before we start this video. Make sure to check out Revive Host. It's a premium hosting service that offers hostings like Minecraft hosting, VPS hosting, game hosting, and even website hosting. You can purchase an affordable Minecraft hosting starting from only $1.5. You can also use my code ARROW to get 10% off discount. Alright, so I'm in the configuration part here. So all you need to edit is only these. But that too if you only want to edit it. And I think if you want to edit the prices of the bank which is like 5 million, 10 million and 20 million you can edit it be because these prices seem unreal and it won't match any other survival server so if you're running a survival or a townie or a faction server you can just adjust these prices to your economy prices so i'm going to tell you how this works so this is the price of the bank upgrade so like this is at the start everyone gets this so this is the one at this first tier second tier third tier and so on so if a player wants to upgrade their bank tire they need to pay 5 million but but you can reduce it to how much ever you want because this is a bit too much so if your server works like i don't know 5000 10000 or something like that you can just like remove this and put 5000 same with here if you want to like edit the max capacity if you wanted it to be something like 75000 instead of 10 million or something like that you can just cut it out here and now it just stores 75 million and this is the experience part if you want to change it you can change it just remove the zero here and now it starts and now it can only hold 20,000 capacity so yeah it's pretty much that and if you want to edit this you can edit it but 60 minutes interest rate is actually kind of cool and you can just keep it but if you want to increase it you can change this so like if you want it to be 120 minutes you can just double this and here's the interest rate it's pretty much like how i deposit 250 dollars and it's going to give me 25 dollars every 60 minutes so yeah that's pretty much at the configuration part make sure hit the like button if you like the video subscribe for more and comment down if you need any more tutorials see ya